Good day! Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! In this video, I will teach you how to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions. To add or subtract rational algebraic expressions, you must always check the denominators. In adding or subtracting rational algebraic with common denominator, simply add the numerators and copy the denominator. But, if the denominators are not similar, you have to find the LCD, then simplify. Always reduce your answer to its simplest form or in lowest term. Let's have this given example. 2 over 2x squared plus 6 over 2x squared is equal to, as you can see, we have the same denominator, which is 2x squared. So we will just add the two numerators, which are the 2 and 6, and then copy the denominator. So the answer is 8 over 2x squared. But as you can see, we can simplify or we can divide 8 by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the final answer is 4 over x squared. Pero paano ba napunta sa numerator ang 4 at hindi sa denominator? Because we find the common factor of 8 and 2. Since we can divide the two numbers into 2, let us just uh, divide 8 by 2. The answer is 4. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. Another example, 3n over 5n squared minus 2n over 15n squared. So magkaiba sila ng denominator. So let us find the LCD or least common denominator. Since 5 and 15 have the common factor or has the LCD of 15, so let us use that constant or number. And then let us just copy the variable with a exponent of 2. So the LCD is 15m squared. So this 15m squared will be divided into 5m squared. 15m squared divided by 5m squared is 3. And then, let us uh, multiply this into 3n. So, 3 times 3n is 9n. Next, 15m squared divided by 15m squared is 1. And then, times 2n, the answer is 2n. So, magkatulad na sila ng denominator, which is yung 15m squared, let us now simply subtract 9n to 2n. So, the final answer is 7n over 15m squared because we cannot simplify or get the lowest term of 7 and 15. Let's have another example. x squared over 3x plus 2x over x plus 15 over 9. As you can see, we don't have the same denominators here. So let us find the LCD of 9 and 3. So we have the LCD of 9 for the 3 and 9. And then just copy the variable which is x. So the LCD of these three rational expressions will be 9x. And then let us divide 9x to 3x. 9x divided by 3x is 3. And then 3 times x squared is equal to 3x squared. 9x divided by x is 9 times 2x is 18x. 9x divided by 9 is x or 1x times 15 is 15x. Let us rewrite this resulting expression. 3x squared plus 18x plus 15x over 9x. Let us combine the two common terms or the like terms positive 18x plus 15x since pareho silang my exponent na 1 so 3x squared or let us copy the lcd which is 9x bring down natin yung 3x squared and then 18 plus 15 is 33 and then copy the variable x so the resulting expression will be 3x squared plus 33x over 9x. 
Next is to get the common factor of this numerator. Since kayong i-divide ang 3x squared at 33x sa 3x, let us get that common factor. So that is 3x. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 11 is 33x. And then copy the denominator 9x. Next, kaya natin i-divide ang 3x at 9x. Let us cancel 3x. So 3x divided by 3x is 1. 9x divided by 3x is 3. So the final answer is x plus 11 over 3. Last example, 2 over a plus 1 minus a minus 2 over a squared minus a minus 2. We don't have the same denominator here, but we need first to find the factors of a squared minus a minus 2 since it is factorable. So the result will be this one. Let us copy 2 over a plus 1 and then minus. Copy the numerator a minus 2, and then the factors of a squared minus a minus 2, or a minus 2 and a plus 1. Next, let us now find the common factor or the LCD of a plus 1 and these two binomials. So since merong a plus 1 na dito sa ating unang rational expression, katulad ng nasa pangalawang expression, so ang magiging LCD na lamang ay yung a minus 2 and a plus 1. And then, let us divide this resulting denominator to a plus 1. So, kapag nagdi-divide tayo, pwede lang natin i-cancel yung same terms. So, ang matitira ay a minus 2. And then, i-multiply natin yon sa numerator. So, a times a minus 2. Or ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Hindi muna natin i-multiply ang 2 sa a minus 2. And then copy the symbol minus. And then divide the denominator in this denominator. So kung mapapansin nyo, pareho silang may a minus 2 at a plus 1. So magiging 1 na lang yun. And then i-multiply natin sa numerator na ito. So 1 times a minus 2, or pwede na natin hindi lagyan ng 1, pero palagi tayo maglalagay ng open and close parentheses para ma maihiwalay natin yun sa symbol na minus. Next is to uh, simplify 2 to a minus 2 or distribute. So, magiging 2a minus 4 because 2 times a is 2a and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 1 or negative times positive a is negative a. And then negative times po, uh, negative 2 is positive 2. Because negative times negative is positive. And then copy the denominator a minus 2 times a plus 1. Next is to simplify or combine like terms. Since parehong may variable a ang 2a at negative a, i-combine natin yon by subtracting, and then negative 4 and positive 2. So, magiging 2a minus a is a, and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Copy the denominator which is a minus 2 and a plus 1. Let us cancel a minus 2 on the numerator and a minus 2 on the denominator. So, the final answer is 1 over a plus 1. Naglagay tayo ng 1 sa numerator since wala nang natira that is equal or equivalent to 1. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this lesson. In adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions with common denominators, simply add the numerators and copy the denominator. But, if we add or subtract rational algebraic expression with different denominators, we need find we need first to find the lcd then simplify do not forget to reduce your answer to its simplest form or lowest term
Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.